Hey guys, here we are at uh, 58 Cindy Road. Um, just wanted to uh, give a walkthrough video to go along with the pictures um, from our from our final walkthrough before closing tomorrow. We just I just want to point out some things that um, that we did see on our on our builder walkthrough last week, um, and then some of the things are new that we're just seeing this week. Um, and I'm not sure if it was just from them, you know, in here doing some repairs and touching up, and maybe have made some scuffs or whatever. But just wanted to point these out so. Uh, so we have some sort of record of these. The first thing is, the, is this big chip right here in this concrete in the driveway, um, which which that's that's you know a good two foot long like break off. I don't know if that was like pressure wash and it blew off or, or somebody drove on it and it cracked. I'm not sure, but um, that's a pretty big you know crack in some concrete. Um, but as you're walking up. The outside of the house looks good. I mean, there's not a whole lot that we have to say about the outside of the house besides. Um, <clears throat> Some of the concrete work, um, you know, there is concrete splashes um, like this right here when you're walking in. Uh, I mean, it's not, not not a big deal, but you know, when you're buying a new house and you're walking in, that that doesn't look new. That looks well, just looks sloppy, to be honest with you. Um, and there is a hairline crack right here, um, right when you're walking in the front door. Um, <laughs> that's, I mean, the buyer pointed that out to me like before we even walked in, and that's that's not good either. Um, I mean, I don't understand if this was a 10 year old house, but um, you know, we haven't even closed on it yet. Okay, all right, so when you walk into the front door, um, like I said, the buyer loves the house, she loves the layout, everything, everything about this, but like I said, the, there is um, things like you know, there's this thing right here is cracked in the window. Um, We've got things like this where there's a scuff on the um, crown molding. There's there's nail pops over here that haven't been um, painted. Uh, there's a chip right here in the door. All right. Got some other things here. Um, some some nail pops or you got some some paint paint peeling off and stuff right there. All right. Um, so like I said. This is this is in here. These are these are these are new things. This right here, I think we called when we were here last week for the builder walkthrough. Okay. Um, and the paint job that goes across this molding is is wavy, so it kind of looks like the crown molding is wavy, but it's not. It's just a paint job. But you can see a white line all the way down the wall um, where the paint really doesn't go up to the molding. I mean, I know that you can't really see it very well in the video, uh, but you can see it pretty good here. All right, um, over here, I've got all these arrows because um, this is all for the crown molding, okay? Because uh, you've got a big chip in the crown molding here. Uh, looks like somebody hit it with a hammer. Um, this right here is where this joint is and it looks like it got sanded down but never got repainted. All right, and then, You've got um, some bubbled up uh, paint underneath here, here, and here. Okay. Um, over here, this uh, the, the door here. Um, it closes great at the top, but at the, but at the bottom, it's got a gap, <laughs> um, so it doesn't it doesn't close fully. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. So, so see if you if you open up the door and you and you close the door. All right. The the top looks great and the bottom has a gap. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I might, might might just be you know like just offsetting or whatever. And the screen door we have a hard time opening. So if you're it doesn't. It's, it gets all it gets all crooked or wonky, but it, 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 it closes. But when you go to open, it sticks right there. So um, that needs fixed. All right. There is a piece of uh, crown molding here. It's got some paint on it. Um, the crown molding right above this. There's a part on the crown molding that I can't reach with tape or anything. The crown molding has a crack in it. Okay. Um, this right here, she's got gaps in here, or that where she's got the tape here. Um, 
All right. Got a couple of uh, um, missing you know, paint spots over here. Um, around here looks good. This part over here is, is, is offset. Um, there's some gaps up in here, but it looks like this whole crown molding up here and down looks like it might, it might need to be repainted. There's another crack in the crown molding right above this where the refrigerator goes. Um, there's a gap back here that doesn't look like it ever got um, caulked, okay? I'll see that. Right, like that got caulked. But this never got caulked. Okay. Um, there's a couple spots in here, which I told her to try not to worry about because there's like a scuff right here and things like that, but you don't hide that with a refrigerator. And then she says, well, this is a new home. Um, you know, there is a hole right back in here that she mentioned too, which I'm pretty sure is the water lines. Um, but, you know. Uh, Alright, so there is paint on the cabinets right here, and she was asking why the cabinet didn't go all the way to the wall, and that little piece is in there. Um, you got the crown molding here that's got a paint spot on it, you got paint spots on this trim work right here, and you got some scuffs right here. Alright, so this is just a few things that we were noticing when we were walking through. Um, one of the big things was like right around this door, there's like so many marks on this door, whether they're nail pops or look like hammer marks or I don't know what marks they are, um, but that's quite a bit. Um, this is where I was saying that this is the, the, the door where the, to the, to the, the secondary bedroom and this is the linen closet. But if you go up this wall, it's like you got this gap that goes all the way up this wall until you get to here and then it gets caulked. The top of the door like why would you caulk the two feet and then not caulk the rest of this um just just i don't i don't i don't know um strange things okay um here's a few things in this room um that you know nail pops and marks in the trim around here um you do have uh you know marking the wall here um but this like this right here this gouge in the ceiling, we got we called that in the uh, builder walkthrough last week, and I just never got taken care of. There's a there's a there's a crack in the paint right here. I'm not sure that I can. All right, see that? Right next to the fire. You know what I mean, like things like that that um, you know the, the buyer is really not happy with because we did discuss these things um, in the in the build her walkthrough and we feel and she kind of feels like you know since there were some things missed that didn't get done that she feels like they didn't really do anything all they did was come in here and take all the tape off so i know that she's having some issues with those okay this is the other spare bedroom you got some marks on the doors for the closets and then marks on the door for the um for the actual entrance door okay there's one mark on the wall, but most of the marks are the tape in here is on the trim work or on the door. Okay. Um, go back into the uh, bedrooms and closets and stuff. So we got this closet here, which is the, the pantry. Okay. Um, and there is a couple of spots in here um, on the walls. Um, it looks like that they were, you know, patched a, a nail hole or something right there that really didn't get done well. Um, but then you got these marks going up and down this this trim here. Um, I mean, they're marks like this right here. All right. There and they go up and down this this now this 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 side doesn't have any, but this side over here has a lot. So I just wanted to point things like that out. Um, and then uh, I'm going to the master. I and mean, then there's a couple things in the bathroom in here that they mentioned that um, we need to. So there's like a, um, the, the paint's cracking in this corner right here. Um, you got like this part right here on this, on this trim. And you got a couple of uh, like paint runs on the wall here in the master bathroom. Um, and then we got like some some paint cracking around here, around the shower, right? Let's 
see a little bit where it's like it needs to be um, same thing over here all right all right so um, in here we still got the same thing about the trim work um, you know there's so many little marks on the trim like nail pops or nail marks or, or whatever that it looks like they just got painted over and nobody ever really like sanded them or patched them or anything like that uh, so when they paint it it just looks like there's nail pops everywhere and it's like it's, <laughs> I'm not old enough to have nail pops yet so um, also here in the master closet there's some marks on the walls in here some more marks on the trim in here on the door and on the back side of this right here which I'm pretty sure that we said something or put tape on all of these right here during our builder walkthrough okay all right so and then we go into the laundry room which actually she's in the laundry room with the cleaning lady so um, there's a couple of spots in the, in the laundry room that are new it's not something that we that she um, noticed in the, uh, in the in the builder walkthrough last week. Um, one thing I did want to ask about is that every door in the house has the um, has the like oil bronze uh, um, door latches or whatever you want to call these things. Draw a blank right now to see how the, the dark oil oil bronze all the every every door in there has those fixtures um, and and doorknobs and everything except for the front door which has silver so I don't know if that was my mistake or you know or does that need to be changed I'm not sure. Um, anyway, just wanted to point out a couple of things that are inside the house that we need done. I know the closing is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Buyer's really not wanting to close until she gets a chance to come walk through the house and these, these repairs have been made. So, um, if you could, let me know when you guys uh, get a chance to get out here. Um, thank you guys so much. House looks great other than these things right here. Um, and uh, hopefully we can get these things taken care of when we get to our closing. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.